Hello, and thank you for joining me for this macOS Sonoma video. In this one, we're going to look at how to speed up macOS Sonoma. If you've upgraded to Sonoma recently, you may have noticed that it's a bit slower than Ventura was on your Mac. That's because Sonoma's new features and enhancements, like the beautiful screensavers and the ability to create profiles in Safari, are a little more demanding in terms of CPU and GPU cycles, and RAM, than Ventura was. So if your Mac is one of the older Macs capable of running Sonoma, you may notice it slow down. The good news is that there are lots of things you can do to speed it up. And that's what we're going to show you in this video. We're going to assume you're running the most recent version of Sonoma. If you're not sure, you can check by going to System Settings, choosing General, then Software Update. If there's an update available, install it, then come back and watch the rest of the video. How to speed up Mac OS Sonoma. Update your applications. Many of the applications you use every day have been updated to take advantage of the new features in Sonoma and to optimize performance for it. So if you don't have applications set to automatically update, now is the time to update them. You can update App Store apps by launching the App Store and going to the Updates section. For other apps, you can click on their name in the menu bar and choose Check for Updates. Optimize performance. There are lots of things that can slow down your Mac or cause it to be unstable. Applications that have hung and chew up lots of CPU and GPU cycles, or RAM, for example. Or launch agents that you don't even know are running can make your Mac run slowly. Or apps that haven't been optimized for Sonoma can consume lots of resources. The easiest and quickest way to optimize your Mac's performance is the optimization module in Clean My Mac X. This neat tool allows you to see very easily which apps have hung or are using lots of resources. And it allows you to see all the launch agents and login items are running. You can then choose to remove them or not. Clean My Mac X is free to download. The link is in the description. Install it and give it a try. Check for demanding processes. Activity Monitor is a great tool for checking for processes running on your Mac that might cause it to slow down. It's stored in the Utilities folder inside your Applications folder. Launch it, then click on the top of the percent %CPU column or percent %GPU column to order processes by the percentage of the CPU or GPU they're using. See anything crazy? Like a process using 100% of CPU cycles? That's probably why your Mac feels slower. You can quit processes that are using lots of CPU or GPU cycles by selecting them and clicking X in the toolbar. But if they're important, they will relaunch. Usually, using lots of CPU and GPU cycles is a symptom of another problem. You may be able to fix that by carrying out maintenance on your Mac. What do I mean by carrying out maintenance? I mean run tasks like macOS maintenance scripts, free up RAM, repair disk permissions, and re-index Spotlight. All these things can help speed up your Mac. And you can do that in Clean My Mac X, too, using the Maintenance module. Close Browser Tabs Having lots of browser tabs open at the same time is one of the causes of Macs slowing down. Each tab updates in the background and uses RAM and CPU cycles. So close the tabs you don't need right now. You can always bookmark them if you need to come back to them later. You could also close applications you're not using at the moment. That would speed up your Mac, too. Don't use Stage Manager Stage Manager was a new feature introduced in macOS Ventura and was improved in Sonoma. But it still uses lots of system resources because it has multiple apps running and updating at the same time. And it uses animation effects. So if you want your Mac to run as fast as possible, don't use Stage Manager. Keep it cool. If you use your Mac in a hot room, then it's going to heat up much more quickly than it would in a cooler room. That adds to the effect of the buildup inside when the CPU and GPU are running hard. One of two things can happen then. If it has fans, it will kick in and be very noisy. But if it doesn't, or if the fans aren't enough to keep it...